Welcome to Workshop World. Today I want to share with you a product I bought a few months ago and I'm finding extremely useful in the shop and, and I don't know why someone didn't think of this earlier or I didn't know about it earlier. But it's called the Stop Loss Bag. And I bought a set of four off of Amazon along with the collapsible funnel which is sold separately. Um, it was fairly cheap. I don't remember the price off the top of my head. But what's so special about these bags is you can take a quart jar of your polyurethane or any other finishes that you have, take it out of the can, put it into these bags, and they will last a whole lot longer. The reason being is when you open one of these cans up, you end up giving it a little bit of air space. The more you use, the more the air that's in there. And over time, you're gonna end up with a skim of a part of the finish that's gotten hard. And if you wait long enough, you just can't use it. Also, when you pour out of these cans, you always end up with a little bit of polyurethane in the, in the lid. And when you put it back together, eventually, if you just take a little bit out over time, you're gonna end up with a cap that won't go back on this container, unless you're very diligent about cleaning out that rim. So, I started using these a few months ago and they are incredible. Basically, you take your polyurethane out of a can, you take your funnel, put it in the top of this, fill the bag up, squeeze the air out, and now it doesn't have any air in there or much at all to oxidize and skim over this polyurethane. So, obviously I already have it in the bag. How we work this thing, is when you want to take it and use it, just unscrew the cap, squeeze out what you need to use. We're gonna squeeze out a decent amount here. Then you can put your cap back on, leave it, use your polyurethane, and when you're done, if it's in still good shape and you wanna save what you have, or if you're just transferring it from the um, quart jar for the first time, put your funnel on the nipple, and you just pour. Goes back in the bag. Squeeze out the air. Put your cap on. And you can store it. So easy peasy, really clean to work with. Also these cans get expensive. There's something like 17 bucks a can and I feel kind of ripped off when I've used half of it and I gotta go out and buy another one. Now one thing they don't tell you is how to clean your funnel. This is a silicone, so my first time I tried it, I let it dry and then I tried breaking off all the polyurethane. That left pieces all stuck to the silicone that just didn't want to clean up very well. <clears throat> didn't enjoy that. So then I tried wiping them out, just taking a rag and wiping it. That was the second best option. But what I found works best is wiping it out, then taking and washing it with soap and water. It's, it's an oil based, so the soap and water is going to break it down, but it releases everything from the sides and it cleans up nicely because things don't like to stick to silicone. Um, nice thing about being collapsible is once you got it clean, you can put it away in your little box and set it aside. Um, these are on the back here, it'll even tell you that these are good for paints. Um, any kind of varnishes, polyurethanes, polyacrylic, but it says not to be used with finishes containing acetone, benzene, or lacquer thinner. Now, I'm trying something out here, and for about the last week, I've had a 50-50 mixture of mineral spirits and polyurethane, because this is my go-to finish. I love using this stuff. It's thin, it's easy to work with. Now, and after a week, I haven't seen any degradation of the bag, or any problems with the finish. So I'm thinking at a 50-50 mixture with mineral spirits, I'm okay. Um, also on the front here, it's a nice place where you can label your package. You can tell you when you put it in and what you got in there in case you get confused. Um, capacity is 1.05 quarts, so it's just over this quart size. And I, I can't, I can't say enough about this. This has just been great. I probably, probably will buy another four of these, and that way I've always got finish on hand. Um, I don't have to worry about running out and get them. Plus, I know how much I got left. It's easy to see. 
So if you're interested in the stop log, the stop loss bag system, check down in my descriptions for a link. And until next time, I'm John. Talk to you later. Yeah.